Hey there, welcome to Vital Inspiration. Today is our first day of the Fairy Tale Challenge. And if you want to get notified of more challenges in the future and want to get my free Vital Inspiration mail where I share tips and tricks on how to learn how to play the violin, make sure to become a member of my website and you can find the link below. And for the people that are members already, welcome to the first day of the challenge. Today we are going to learn, can you feel the love tonight? And I am going to show you first how you can play this song. I'm going to play the whole song once because many of you requested me to do that. And afterwards I will get into some specific bowings and tips on how to play this song. You can download the sheet music below. I will put a link below this video where you can get the sheet music of this song. And if you're ready to learn this song right now, make sure to like this video below and comment that you're ready because we are getting started right now. itself but the last four bars are different than last time and I'm going to make use of this moment to show you a more advanced fingering so make sure to if you are a beginner to repeat the whole part we have done before but the last four bars will be different and will be the same as the last four bars of this part the sheet music there is a mistake in the sheet music in the last bar you will see that it's actually the sheet music says but of course they probably meant the first finger instead of the second finger so so that was the whole song and all of the fingering of the song and right now I want to give some specific tips about specific parts 
So the first part is like, I see it like a little conversation and it is like a little sentence and I am playing it slurred. So instead of I'm playing So I'm playing one, two, three, four, one, two. So I'm slurring four notes together and afterwards I'm going big and slurring two notes together. So And slurring, for the people who don't know what a slur is, is actually binding the notes on one bow stroke instead of making like different bow strokes for each and every note. So as you see, I slur the whole beginning part. So you can try to experiment with slurring yourself and see where slurs feel right for you. And maybe you can also try to use my specific way of slurring the notes. Also, I see it a little bit like a sentence, like I said before. So it is like... So I'm like... I'm like, if you are speaking, you are not speaking like this all the time. You are like speaking with... da 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 Like... So it's like going up and going down in the dynamic of the music. I imagine the person in the sentence gets a little bit more excited all the time. So it goes like this. So that is like the, the highest part with the most excitement. And then it goes a little bit down again. So if you're a little bit more advanced already in your violin journey, you can try to make those sentences and also make a musical line. So not try not to play it all like di 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 di, but try to play like di 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 di. So going up and down in dynamic. So that is a tip that I want to give for the beginning of the song. And afterwards we will get at the refrain of the song. And I think with the refrain, it is most important to play really long notes and long bow strokes. So use a lot of bow and play with a really full tone. So I'm going to um, show you what it can sound like if you're not playing with all of your bow. tune but it still doesn't sound really beautiful and I think the song sounds much more beautiful if you play as legato as possible. I also have another video about how to play legato on the violin and also use a lot of bow. So try to use your full bow. a lot of bow and try to bind the notes together so try to instead of you're playing legato which is more like so try to um, to not make spaces between the notes but try to bind them as much as you can even though you are changing bow direction so i think that are the most important musical things i would like to share about this specific song I really hope this tutorial helped you to learn how to play Can You Feel The Love Tonight? And I hope to see you back for the next tutorial of this fairy tale challenge. I will upload it next Tuesday, so stay tuned for that one. And until then, keep practicing.